Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Neo the Prophet. Hello, anyone want to make an extra $200 a month? I need someone to pick up my daughter from here at 2.45 p.m. every day. School bell rings at 3 o'clock p.m. and stay with her for an hour and a half at our house in here until I get home. Please message me if interested. So that turns out to be $5.75 an hour? Plus gas? If you're not interested, then don't comment. I think if the pay was a bit higher and you could actually answer some questions, it might be possible that they might be interested. Don't expect anybody to follow up. This next one is by Active Forever 3767. Well shit, I'm looking for someone to help me with childcare. My family doesn't talk to me anymore, so they refuse to help me. I am on a wait list to get help with paying for childcare. So if you want to help at all, that'd be awesome. My Thanksgiving was a shit show. How was yours? Oh no. I can offer to watch them for free if you bring them to me. I know that's a bit of a drive, so I'm not sure if you can do it, but let me know. At least temporarily. Do you want me to send you my schedule and see what days you can, and maybe we can meet halfway? They said they'd watch them for free if you brought them to them, not to meet them halfway. So unless you're willing to do that, I don't think they're going to watch your kids. This next one is from George BRTU. Hey, do you mind unliking my comment? It's bothering me that 48 people laugh reacted and you only liked it. I prefer if you just didn't respond. Beggars can't be choosers, but asking someone to unlike a comment because they didn't laugh react? Wow, that's super choosy. This next one is by Majestic Mulberry 18. Single mother need nanny in exchange for room and board. I am a single parent of an eight year old child looking for a nanny to help me with my son. I will soon be working a travel job and you may have to travel as well. You will stay in my residence with your own room at no cost in exchange for helping me with my son. However, when I am on travel assignments, you will be paid a minimal salary, but only when I am traveling. Requirements? No criminal records as I will be doing a background check. Bilingual preferred, but must speak English. Must not be on any psychiatric medications. Must not be a smoker. Don't do drugs. This includes smoking pot, weed, etc. Older female preferred, but all are welcomed if you meet the requirements. Must pass a drug screening, believe in the Christian faith, driving ability preferred but not mandatory, able to swim preferred but not mandatory. I will be taking phone calls but will not accept any spam messages. Please leave a message or text your interest and I will return your call promptly. I think the problem I see with this is there's no real depth to what this person is willing to actually pay someone to watch their kids. They list minimal salary, but how minimal is it? It's things like that that raise questions. This next one is from Derp Cats. $40, Keurig coffee maker with accessories. Cool give, been wanting one and looking for one and I'm really interested in it. Sure, I'm out of town this week, but we'll be home next week for pickup. But I don't have the $40. By any chance, can I get it for free, or trade it for something, or can I have it for an early birthday gift? I'm only interested in selling. Okay, can I give you a 1012 Jordans that were $150 for it? I'm only accepting cash payment. Can you accept check? Sorry, only cash. Okay, please save it for me. I will get the money for you when I go home for Christmas. You want them to save it for you because you can get the money when you go home for Christmas. Did you ever think that maybe they were selling this to try to get some extra money for Christmas? This next one is by Jobles. Full time, entry level, 10,001 plus employees in accounting. You have a preferred skill badge. To qualify for the role, you must have bachelor's degree in technical fields and or equivalent work experience. 10 plus years of client-side JavaScript experience, 
three plus years of Angular experience, seven plus years of jQuery experience, seven plus years of RESTful application development, 10 plus years of HTML5 experience, 10 plus years of CSS experience, familiarity with and the ability to apply design patterns. They don't list the salary, but considering they want all of that experience for an entry-level position, my guess is they're paying the minimum possible. This next one is from Bart Lacerda. Bio. I'm looking for a woman with conservative values, pro-life, 2A and liberal. Please be 5'2 to 5'6, 105 pounds to 115 pounds, 32B to 32C. Size 12 to 16, waist, and size 6 to 7, feet. Be fun but down to earth. Be manicured, pedicured, and keep yourself fairly clean. Your attire should be 80% casual, 20% formal, but be into wearing costumes in bed. Be trustworthy, honest, and also into movies, road trips, and family stuff. PG stuff with others, and R triple X with me. You must also have or love dogs and no kids, 18 to 26 year olds. I've said it before, actually just recently, it's not unhealthy to know what you want in a partner, but lists like this are discouraging from people even applying. This next one is by Educational Face 9802. I'm looking for a puppy for my girls for Christmas. They want something small like a pug, mini golden doodles, or something like that. Anything miniature. These girls are my life. They've been through so much and so little. They deserve the world, but I can't afford it. Please help me make this wish come true. I donated to the GoFundMe you set up under the name of this, and I got an update that shows you're up to $435 there. So you could use those funds for a puppy. I would reach out to local rescues or the various humane societies. I used that for my October rent. My rent is $1,714 and my income is $1,664. Okay, well basically what you just admitted is you already don't make enough to cover your rent. So why are you going to sit there and want to try to add a dog into the mix? Because you clearly won't be able to provide for that either. This next one is from Maxie's Mom 23. Beggar is feeling heartbroken. I'm just so fucking depressed and heartbroken to the point where I may never know what real and true love will ever feel like. I'm definitely not asking for a girl to show me the entire world. I'm just asking for a girl who doesn't care about my looks and all of my biggest flaws, but cares more about me as a person and have me get all swayed up and have me swept off my feet and take me shopping every now and then, along with drive me to have some nice dinners at a decent restaurant and go to see some movies and make me feel like I should be the luckiest guy in the world. That's all I'm asking for these days, so please God, if you're up there in heaven looking down on me, please hear my plea of desperation and save me from a life of solidarity and loneliness. That's all I'm asking you for, God, in your precious son's name, amen. I feel like this post says they're looking for a sugar mama, that they don't want to really contribute anything, but they want to be swept off their feet and spoiled. At least that's the way I took it. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. This next one is by Six I'm on the Floor. In search of housekeeper who will accept payment in Mary Kay products. I need someone to clean my house every other week. PM me for details. Chances are in those PMs you're going to get people asking for an actual salary rather than Mary Kay products. And our final one is from Shawneeboo3. Looking for a babysitter in the area. PM me if you're interested. <laughs> Here are my requirements. <laughs> Number one, have a bachelor's degree in childcare or nine years of relevant babysitting experience. Number two, three good references with phone numbers. Number three, full-time availability, including weekends. Number four, your own car and driving license. Number five, native English speaking and preferred second language to teach to my children. Number six, CPR certified, ideally a CNA license. Number seven, no history of traffic tickets and no problems with the law. 
I will be running your name through databases. Number eight, no tattoos, no drugs, no alcohol, no sketchy social media behavior and or public pictures. Number nine, must be okay with my two pit bulls. Number 10, must be okay with emergency last minute calls. Number 11, perfect attendance 100% required. Number 12, willing to pay for some snacks. Number 13, will love to work with an infant, three-year-old, and five-year-old. Number 14, ideally will be a Trump fan. In exchange, I will be offering $10 an hour under the table cash. It's like making $15 an hour normally, but without paying tax. Serious inquiries only. $10 an hour for all of that. I mean, literally, $10 an hour for all of that is a massive steal. I'm sure she's got people jumping out of the books trying to sign up to work for her. <laughs> Not. All right, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.